Hi artists, Mrs. Langless here and today we are going to start on some animal drawings. Over the next several classes we're going to focus in on animals um, and we're going to begin with ocean animals and more specifically the octopus. It is such a cool animal. Um, it can be kind of tricky to draw so I'm going to show you step by step how to create this octopus right here. So here's what it can look like when you're all finished um, with your drawing and coloring. Um, here is what it looks like without color just to give you an idea of where we're headed. So in order to get started on this drawing you will need a piece of paper and a pencil to begin our drawing. Later on other materials might include a black marker and then some coloring materials, crayons, colored pencils, or markers. So let's get started. All right, here is my piece of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to start with the head shape. And their head is very much like an oval. So I'm going to start and put it toward um, the middle top of my paper. So I'm going to start it right here and just draw sort of an open-ended oval. So you'll notice that I didn't go all the way. All right, now from there, we are going to add two outside legs. And remember, keep your lines light, especially because we are going to be erasing some of these lines. Those lines are called guidelines. They're just lines that help us to finish our drawing, but they're not meant to be there in the end. So. We are going to start with the two outside legs first. So I'm going to start right here and then I'm just going to make a line that kind of comes out and it sort of looks like a wavy line and then I'm going to make it curl around. Now I'm going to follow the same path all the way back to where I started. And I don't know if you noticed but see how it's thinner out here and then I'm letting it get a little bit wider. Now I'm going to go really light with, lightly with my line over to here. I'm going to come back up and now I'm going to do the other line. So from here I'm going to make another wavy line and you can make it different than your last one. And then again I'm going to follow that path all the way back to here. Now again Super important to leave these lines light because eventually we'll be erasing this section right here. So we've got two legs on the outside so far. Now the next step is to draw a third leg coming down in the middle. So I'm going to start it right here and I'm just going to make it come down and then again kind of curve maybe curl around like that. Now yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, remember. That's what makes art so great. So there's his third leg and you'll notice I made it overlapping because again we're going to be doing some erasing in a little bit. Next we're going to draw two legs in the space on the right. So again I'm going to create a wavy line. Maybe I'll make this one come out here curve down and then maybe it comes up like this and then back to the body. Now I'm going to make another one and I'm going to make this one curve in a different direction. So I'm going to make this guy go like this. He's going to go curve and then curl around and maybe he'll come up like this. There we go. I like to give a little bit of variety and then he goes back up like that. All right, now octopus have eight legs, so we've got a couple more to go. We are going to add another leg in this space over here. So I'm going to come right to this side and start here, making that wavy line come all the way down and maybe like this. And then follow the path right back up to where you started. Awesome. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got two more legs to go. So what we're going to do next is we're going to draw the two extra legs here in the background. So they're going to be overlapped a little bit by the other legs that we just made. So I think that I will make one that comes out sort of right around, maybe right here would be a good idea. I'm going to make it go curve and then I'm going to pretend that it goes behind this leg 
right here, and then it's going to come out right around here and again kind of curve. Maybe I'd see a little bit of peak right here. So you just kind of have to imagine where that would go. In fact, I think I'm going to change it because I don't like the way that looks. And this is why we use a pencil, right? So that we can fix things that we don't like. So I think I'm going to come back and I like that a little bit better. That to me makes more sense. You sort of have to imagine what would be happening behind this particular big leg if this one overlapped. Ooh, okay, I'm liking that. Now, I've got one more to add, and I think that it should go, hmm, I think it's gonna go right over here. So I'm gonna add it right here, kind of coming down, and it's gonna sneak behind this guy, but then we're gonna see it come out here again and kind of come up like this. Now again, yours don't have to do the same thing as Miss Langless's. Yours can look different. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. And we have this line right here that we drew as a guideline that we need to get rid of. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to erase right here and right here to get rid of that. And I think I've got all my legs and the main body. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the eyes and the bumps on his head. So I'm gonna make one eye just peeking out, so making sort of a half oval, and then I'm gonna make another circle and another one, okay? And then I'm gonna make a circle or an oval right here with two more circles in it as well. So there are the eyes. Now they usually have bumps on their head, so I'm gonna add some little lines to show the texture just like so, I like that. And finally, they have those like suction cups on their legs. So what I'm gonna do to show that is I'm just gonna come along and add little circles, just sort of randomly in different spots on my legs, okay? Now once you have done that and added little spots on each of your legs to show those suction cups, you can also add some bubbles or maybe some other things that you would find underwater. That is totally up to you what you wanna do for you know, the, the home of your octopus or the habitat. So I'm just gonna make some bubbles and he's gonna to be totally underwater. Now, once you get all those details finished, you can then use a marker to trace. And this is gonna make all of your lines really stand out, creating an awesome octopus just like this one. Then you will use a coloring material, crayons, colored pencils, markers, your choice to add color. So here's an example of what that might look like when you are all finished. You'll notice that I used a darker color back here and also on the head to just kind of create a shadow and make him look more realistic so that it's showing that these legs are in the back um, and that area as well as in a shadow. So I hope you have fun with this. Um, we're working on an octopus today, of course, but next week we'll work on another ocean animal that I'm really excited about. Can't wait to show you that one, and I hope you have fun with this. All right, guys, take care, and as always, please, please, please take a photo and upload your work to Seesaw or um, send to me an email so that I can see the fabulous octopus that you make today. Thanks a lot. Take care.